So hi Twitter, Merry Christmas, uh, Pete Chesham here, Consultant and Advanced Clinical Practitioner at Sandwell and West Birmingham NHS Trust. I just thought I'd do a short video from a personal perspective um, just to let you know about uh, some jobs that are being released, so training ACP jobs and qualified ACP jobs in acute medicine. Uh, I don't know what you know about Sandwell and West Birmingham, but it is moving across to the Midland Metropolitan University Hospital. Uh, that's a really exciting place. Uh, it's a massive hospital. Um, it's going to be all bells and whistles, but more importantly for that is the ethos that's driving that hospital, which is around social regeneration. Uh, it's about providing jobs and education for the local community, as well as high quality healthcare, which I think is a really exciting proposition. If I was a training ACP, why would I be interested in joining us? Um, well, we're doing some really novel stuff working with our local higher education institutions to redevelop uh, MSCs. Um, you know, what does a master's uh, course need to look like between 2020 and 2030? Um, how do we make it fit for purpose? We're looking at how we can reduce the duplication that occurs as a result of having a MSc course as well as uh, having a portfolio for relative colleges, whether it's Royal College of Surgeons or Physicians or the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. We have a high number of black belt uh, consultant medics working in acute medicine that can teach you ultrasound, chest strains, LPs, um, but more importantly than that, they can teach you how to make a decision. Uh, they can teach you some medical skills as well as coach you to become a decision maker, which is actually the harder part than the skills. Um, I think if you do get a good basis within acute medicine, it will serve you well for wherever you want to go, whether that's, you know, if you want to be an ACCP of the future, fine, or if you want to go into surgery, fine. Having a basis in acute medicine can only do you good favours. Um, in terms of consultant level practitioners, there are consultant physios, we have people in children's, we have people in the community, and we're starting to organise, operationalise and strategize how we deal with advanced practice within the trust. We're looking at creating cohorts of teaching so that we can really squeeze the best out of our training opportunities. The Midlands is the place to be for advanced practice. So we've got Nottingham, we've got Derby, we've got New Cross, we've got Walsall, we've got UHB, um, we've got the Children's. You know, there are multiple areas that are really well known for advanced practice in this area. And Midland Met is going to be one of those in the future. Um, I'm really keen to work in partnership with those trusts with really developed ACP programs to work out how can we work together to improve advanced practice across the Midlands band. So I think it's a really good place to think about starting your TACP journey. If you're a qualified ACP, why would you be interested in us? Well, because being an ACP is a bit more than being clinical. It may be that you don't have all of the skills that I've mentioned. It may be that you want to expand into acute medicine from an A&E background. It may be that you want to look into research and leadership as well as just pure clinical. And I'm passionate that ACP work is more um, than just the clinical component. Um, it, I'm very keen to make uh, an ACP strategy that's not flat. I don't want you to get into an 8A role and then look above you and see a glass ceiling which can't be penetrated. I think that's really naive from a strategic point of view. So we, we want a conveyor belt uh, within which you can progress on to consultant ACP status. We're very cognizant of the latest direction that has come out from HTE in terms of supervision and development. Um, and we're keen to operationalise that within Midland Met. Um, so please, if, if you're interested, uh, my phone number's with the job advert. I'm not sure whether it's on NHS Jobs yet, but it's certainly on the Trust website. If you hit up that and drop me a message if I'm clinical or give me a ring and I'll talk through what we're doing um, and the exciting opportunities that we've got. Thanks.